guys, welcome back. I wanted to do a little review if you haven't played um, Bendy and the Ink Machine Chapter 3. Don't spoilers. Um, don't watch a video. I'm just going to be using my steel. Uh, I liked a lot of it and there were parts I didn't like. Um, I really think it needs a save game function. Uh, this latest chapter is just, it's a lot of grinding, which I don't mind. Because the quests are like a lot of grinding, you have to go here and there and like a lot of battles and a lot of the stuff is randomized so you can't just remember, oh, it's here, here, and here. Sometimes what you're doing on the quest moves, like you'll go to collect a gear and the gearbox will be empty. Not to throw too many spoilers in. And, um... There were parts that you had to do that it depended entirely on timing and luck and it got a little frustrating. And it, it was a little bit glitchy. It was glitchy. I had um, Bendy spawn right on top of me at one point. Um, I had uh, one of the more bloated ink monsters spawn in right on top of me as well. And um, I really think, you know... There's a lot in it to like. You can like having a finally having a quest, and I expected it to be more challenging. Like um, the first one was, people were complaining it was fairly simple. So then the second one had battles, and you know that was more complicated. So I expected this one to be harder. I did, but it was, it was just you know it could use a save function that you could go out of the game, like, play for a half hour, go out of the game, come back and complete the quest. Because it's really, it's quest-driven. It really is. Um, and some things were disappointing, too. It seemed like it, getting hit was iffy. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you died, you just... It was a good system. You respawn from, like, a certain point, but then at some points in the game, I just kept getting hit. And I, I won't tell you what point of the game this was, but I was getting hit so many times, I'm like, I'm done. And it just, it let me keep playing. Whereas when, you know, if you would get hit by Bendy, it's just like one hit and he takes you out. And he doesn't even have to be that close to you. Uh, and I had a glitch where I actually hid and I hit hid before he reached me, he still killed me anyway. So it was like, um, there, there are some glitches. Um, the good stuff was it was interesting to see Ellis. It was interesting to see Boris. I'd like to see more of Boris in the game, actually, to kind of have him. I thought it was going to be like a quest where like he helped us out more, like all through the game. And um, I, I'm trying to like review this and not give you everything, everything. But you know, there's a part where after he he's with you for a little while, he's basically he's not with you. And the ending frustrated me, too, because I'm, like, I've been grinding through this game for over an hour. I think it took me, like, um, almost two hours to grind through it. And then you're given this ending, and you're suddenly powerless. And I'm like, well, this, you know, this sucks. Um, it, it, it didn't feel fair. I know it's setting up for the next chapter, but it, it didn't feel like a... Um, completely satisfying ending because I'm like you know we've been almost like an unstoppable machine up until the one point we need to actually be able to do something and then we can't do anything um I kind of would like to see more Sammy it kind of didn't make sense how the second chapter ended with Sammy and you think he's coming back because we've seen him in promotional stuff since then uh, like promoting the hot, hot topic stuff and that. And then, you know, there was really no um, Sammy per se. I mean, there were recordings, but it was not, you know, what you thought it was going to be. So it it is a good game. I was kind of disappointed that it was so long with no save point. Like you couldn't save halfway through. I think maybe the Meatly was responding to people criticizing how short the games were and went a little overboard. A lot of parts were fun, but had you been able to rest after, like, um, say, split the quest in half, like, do half the quest, go out, rest for a little bit, come back in, you would have been uh, much fresher and it would have been much enjoyable. I think if you saw the one um, Let's Play, I can't remember if it was the first one or the second one, 
I was actually starting to complain because it was like this game was never over. And by the way, if you start using the elevator from when you can start using it, um, it does not speed things up because of the randomized system. Sometimes something will work in one area and then the next time you go into the game, it doesn't work or you got to go to this area. And uh, some of the elevator buttons were dodgy too. It would like just not work at certain times and you had to take the stairs. So... I liked it overall, but it, that was kind of disappointing and frustrating for it, the series to go from, you know, the first chapter was super simple, second chapter was more of a challenge, and it was good, and it was enjoyable, but then this one, it was just like, all of a sudden, you're like grinding through, like the old, um, old-fashioned, you know, um, hack-and-slash games, which isn't bad, but it was, um... It, it was unexpected, let's put it that way. And I could I could have used a break there halfway in between. And um, I think it depends. If you're like a really rabid Bandy fan, you're going to be like, it was perfect. But, you know, for gameplay and game replay, I actually went after I had played it the first time and then I played it the second time to play a whole chapter for you. I actually went in the third time to try to pick up the Devil's trophy for Bendy, and I was like, you know what, I, I actually don't have the patience to sit here and do this a third time because it's so randomized, and I really don't care to go through again just to pick up that trophy. Um, It's a good game. It's kind of hard that if you leave the game and come back in, you have to start from scratch. You have to start from Chapter 3, Um, you know, from the beginning of Chapter 3. Uh, overall, it is good. Um. Alice was interesting. Uh, you'll kind of like her and maybe kind of hate her. I wasn't sure how I felt about her towards the end because it, it seems like the series is jumping around. First, um, I know there's two chapters to go. I know that. You don't have to tell me in the comments. But first, it's like uh, Bendy's this almighty, all-powerful ink demon. And then, you know, Alice comes in and she's... You know, might maybe not as quite as powerful as Bendy, but she can push you around too. And I kept thinking during the whole game, well, if she's this powerful, you know, why isn't she out doing this herself? Or, you know, some of the stuff she's made in the game, not to give too much away, why doesn't she just send them to do it? And, you know, things like that. It, it was a part that didn't make much sense to me because uh i really have enjoyed the series but if he took an actual literal year between now and the next one i would be happy because meatly's tradition is to have us play through all the chapters again because he made additions and i i like the game but i would not care to play through this again unless there was a way to like skip to the very end and and you know then go on to chapter four i don't think i'd care to play through this chapter again it was just too much of a grind if a save system was put in i think it would be a lot better and then if you only had like 15 minutes to play you could at least do like one one leg of your quest have that done and then go back in and i think that would make for a lot more enjoyable experience so i know a lot of people are going to disagree with me but um yeah guys it's a good game if you like bendy it's something to add but it's going to be very quest driven uh, a lot of people were just calling it straight up fetch and carry and, you know, fetch this, fetch that. Uh, if you remember how you had to fetch everything in chapter one, imagine doing that for almost two hours while fighting battles. It's kind of cool, but it's kind of also grinding a little bit and you didn't, like, level up. And since the quests are random, you can go from a really good, efficient weapon to a really crappy weapon. And it's, it was just frustrating. But, you know, uh, that's the nature of video games. Sometimes something goes and you think the game's perfect. And sometimes, you know, you sit back and you're like, wow, this is, you know, it's 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 kind of um, random. I mean, it made sense that some weapons were stronger than others. But it, it like, it you, you just will go insane because it makes it that much harder to play. But, yeah, overall, it is really a good game. I did have a lot of issues with it, obviously, but it was because, you know, I kind of was getting used to the chapters having a little more difficulty, but not being at, like, insane. You have to play this for almost two hours 
or however long it takes you to complete the quest. I'm saying two hours because that was my average, but it might take you longer or shorter. And um, only once you complete it will you, you know, finish finish a chapter and you have to do it all in one sitting. So it's a great game if you like campaign games and you love to sit down for a couple hours. You'll probably really enjoy this. If you're looking for the 10, 15, maybe half hour experience of like the first two chapters, depending on what kind of run you're doing, uh, you're going to be really disappointed. But, um, you know, I, I hope you guys do enjoy it if you get it. It's it's really good. It's kind of buggy right now. I'm at least going to have to do some work. But, yeah, um, it was... Uh, pretty unique experience because it was nothing like the two um, chapters before it. I mean, really, to me, they're all separate games, but I know everybody's calling them chapters to be one epic game. I mean, if this is two hours and it takes you like a half hour, say, to get through the first two chapters each, can you imagine how long you're going to have to sit there to play through to get to chapter four? So that's something to think about. If you guys like what you see... Uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you like the combat system, you can say below. It feels weird to say that in a Bendy game, but really, this is really combat heavy. Um, there are some puzzles to figure out, which, um, you know, that was okay. And um, it seemed like there was, like, disproportionate ability to hit with some weapons. And some of the quests were just, like, they were pain in the neck to me. But overall, I, I did enjoy it. But yeah, uh, I, I was looking for, I think, like a more streamlined experience. i never been a big fan of back and forth on a map, but I guess you guys can kind of tell that. But if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.